How's it going, everybody? So in this video, I'm going to talk about how long to see results from intermittent fasting. So before I get started, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do appreciate the support. It helps my channel grow. Please follow me on Instagram, DylanBerg999. So before we talk about how long to see results from intermittent fasting, let's just go over a little bit about intermittent fasting and chances are some of you may not know this as well. So intermittent fasting, all it is, is it's fasting. It's going a period of time without eating food. If any of you have ever had a surgery done, say wisdom teeth, tonsils, what will happen is they will tell you to fast. Any type of surgery, they'll tell you to fast generally for 10 to 12 hours. Even some types of blood work, they'll tell you, oh, don't eat anything for 10 to 12 hours. That's fasting. That's going a period of time without eating. Generally, the common, common fasting is uh, 16 hours without eating and then eight hours, an eight hour window where you eat. Now here is why intermittent is Intermittent fasting is bad for some people. I myself, I have a very labor intensive job. I am a garbage collector. So for three hours straight, I am very, very physical, pretty high intensity. Then for an hour, I take a break, we go to the dump, we come back and then we do it again, generally two to four times a day. So for me, I've tried intermittent fasting while doing this and it was a nightmare. It was very bad. When you are doing labor intensive job, or if, if you are an active, active person, intermittent fasting can be done, but it's not optimal. Your body needs energy if you are performing at a pretty high intensity. Um, even if you're performing at a moderate intensity, your body needs carbohydrates. Um, so um, with with that being said, I just wanted to say that because a lot of people think anyone can do intermittent fasting. Yes, anyone can, but it's not going to be the best. There's other, everyone's going to be a little bit different. Now, here's another mistake that people make when intermittent fasting. Um, they don't track their calories. And this is huge. When I was doing intermittent fasting, I tracked my calories. Here's what a lot of people do. When they go those 16 hours without eating, when they have that eight hour window, they just shovel the food in because that's generally how intermittent fasting is portrayed. You go 16 hours, then you can eat for eight hours as and without tracking your calories. Most people that do intermittent fasting don't track their calories. Now, here's what happened. You can intermittent fast. You could eat three meals a day, four meals, five, six meals a day, doesn't matter what you do. At the end of the day, whether you lose weight or build muscle or maintain weight has to do with the amount of calories that you are consuming. If you eat less calories um, than your body needs, then what'll happen is your body will tap into the fat storages and use that fat for energy, hence you lose weight. So. If you're doing intermittent fasting and you're not tracking your calories, your results will be zero, guaranteed. So how long to see results from intermittent fasting? It's the same as any weight loss. If you go 500 calorie deficit, you'll lose one to two pounds per week. You do that for two, three months, you're gonna have 20, 30 pounds lost. So intermittent fasting isn't a way to lose, sorry, intermittent fasting doesn't cause weight loss, it's just, one type of technique that you can use for weight loss. Just like the Atkins diet, the Mediterranean diet, the keto diet, all of these are just a way to help you lose weight. You still need to track your calories, doesn't matter what program you're on. So any results, a week or two, you're gonna see some fat loss, two to four pounds in a week or two. So end of video, thank you so much for watching. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please follow me on Instagram, DylanBerg999. Thank you.